Fake quotes, old videos and blatant lies. Welcome to the internet. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. So Body, what is the actual story here? Did American golfer Tiger Woods refer to Kamala Harris's manner of speech as a fake black accent, calling it embarrassing and extremely offensive? No, that's not true. The online rumor was first published by a self-labeled parody and satire account. Please continue. Lead Stories found no confirmation that Woods ever said that. Remember, folks, always double-check the source before sharing juicy gossip. Hey body, did you hear this one? Did Donald Trump appear in early September 2024 with a bandage on his ear on Fox News, more than seven weeks after his ear was grazed by a bullet during an assassination attempt? No, that's not true. The picture of Trump on X with a bandage on his ear was from an interview only 11 days after the shooting. That's good context. Trump appeared in an interview with Fox host Mark Levin on September 1, 2024, and his ear was not bandaged. Remember folks, always double-check the date before sharing a photo. Don't let fake news get in your ear. Okay, what about this one? Does a video show Mongols and Hells Angels members heading to Colorado in 2024 to deal with Venezuelan gang members? No, that's not true. The original video is at least 14 years old. Is there more? The video was previously used in 2020 to claim Hells Angels and Mongols members were heading to Seattle to confront Antifa followers, and was fact-checked by Lead Stories at the time. Remember, before sharing videos claiming to show current events, make sure to verify the date and location first. Hey body, what information do you have about this? Does a video on Instagram threads show Hells Angels and other motorcycle clubs going to Aurora, Colorado? to fight a Venezuelan gang after violence was reported in August 2024? No, that's not true. The video was first posted to TikTok in November 2022, nearly two years before media reported gang violence in Aurora. Do go on. The video's original poster clarified on social media that the clip was recorded during a charity event in Pennsylvania, which, Lead Stories, confirmed. Remember, always verify the date and location before sharing videos online. I'm probably not alone in wondering about this. Did a CNN fact check find that Vice President Kamala Harris lied 113 times in her Democratic National Convention speech? No, that's not true. A CNN representative told Lead Stories the claim was false. CNN fact checked four claims in Harris's convention speech in an online article. Gee, who would have thought? The number 113 was not mentioned in the CNN article nor was there evidence that CNN claimed Harris lied. Remember, always fact check before spreading misinformation. Don't believe everything you read online. Have you heard about this next one, body? Does a video show Tim Walls lying about having served in a US military deployment to Afghanistan? No, that's not true. Walls told the American Legion about a 2011 trip to Afghanistan he took as a member of Congress. Do you have more? He did not say he had served in Afghanistan as a soldier. Remember, always fact check before jumping to conclusions. It's important to verify the details before sharing information. This one's out there on the internet. Does a video show Kamala Harris saying Elon Musk has lost his privileges to speak freely? No, that's not true. Harris was speaking in 2019 about Donald Trump's posts on Twitter, according to a CNN transcript and video. Thanks for looking into that. She was discussing her call for Trump to be suspended from Twitter at the time. Harris did not mention Musk. Remember, always verify the context before sharing a clip, don't jump to conclusions. Hey body, can you confirm something for me? Was Irish teacher Enoch Burke arrested on September 2, 2024, for refusing to endorse and affirm transgender ideology? No, that's not true. Burke was arrested for contempt of court after repeatedly showing up to teach at a school where he was suspended and told not to return. That's unexpected. The school's legal actions were linked to his refusal to use a transgender student's preferred name and pronouns, but his arrest by police was due to his non-compliance with the court order, not his views on transgender issues. Remember, always verify the full story before jumping to conclusions. Don't let half-truths lead you astray. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.